Do you remember this? My Game Boy. Oh my God. It's cast a speller. This is the least dorky photo that I could find of myself at 16. Oh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> so dorky. <laughs> I love that my mum brought these toys from my childhood for me. It just reminds me of a time where play and creativity were really nurtured and encouraged. There are some great TED Talks out there, like Tim Brown's talk on creativity and play, or Stuart Brown's talk on the fact that play is more than fun. And both of these talks are awesome because they seek to prove that theory that play is the thing that drives creativity, exploration, and innovation. I wanted to be so many things when I was a kid. I wanted to be an actress because it seemed to me that they just got to play all day long. I wanted to be a singer, definitely can't sing, ask my cousins. Um, I wanted to be a businesswoman so that I could have as many cassette tapes for my Walkman as I could possibly ever want because that's a great investment. And I also assumed that, for some reason, I would go to jail. I have no idea why. In many ways, I had expected to feel like more of an adult by the time I got to living out my adult life, but in my mind and in my body, I, I still feel like a 15 year old. And it's a strange realization to have that adults don't know everything. And I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I'm just trying to get by with the best that I have. So it was really cool. I, I got to thinking after my mom brought all these toys for me to check out about these talks and particularly the one by Tim Brown. The Tim Brown talk explores creativity and play and it's an awesome watch. Definitely 20 minutes well spent. It looks at things like conservatism that comes out of fear that we develop as adults. It also explores how we get inhibited by other people's opinions, which I definitely do. But maybe my favorite thing to look at with this is that relationship between playfulness and professionalism, which we tend to separate as adults, but as kids, it's all in the same bucket. So I didn't become an actress, and the good news is that I also didn't go to jail, so that's great. And I did, however, become a businesswoman with Shoes of Prey. And on that journey with the business, you know, there's been lots of great highs, but also tons of challenges. And I find with those challenges, that's the time that it's great to bring up this play and creativity to try and find the innovative solution without getting caught up on what other people are thinking or what may or may not be possible. I would love to know how you guys get into this mindset of creativity and playfulness. And I would also love to know what you wanted to be when you were a kid. So, and are you doing it now? Or is it something that's just kind of a dream waiting in the wings for you to do at some point? Please put it in the comments below. I would love to see it. Have a great week. Do everything before you're ready. But just before you go, I have one more mortifying photo that I got out of the pile of crazy childhood memories. This is my Debbie Temple. So down to Nabby, so embarrassing in fact. This photo may be the reason that I end up in jail because nobody but nobody should make this <laughs> an image like this. Mortifying. I'll see you later.